stop getting greedy. How about this, Rodriguez, extra stamp. To transform something means to what? Right, exactly. Effects means the results. Look at the effects of data transformation. What we're going to talk about today is what happens if I take a set of data, any set of data, that means anything, and I transform it. I change it. What will that will that change the, the measures of center? Will that change the measures of vari of variation? Well, what's going to change? What what effects does it have on the measures of center, like the mean, median, and mode, and the effects of variation, which is the range and the standard deviation? That's what we're going to kind of get in today. Um, the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and write that one sentence of what a data transformation is. Write that down, please. A data transformation is a procedure that uses a mathematical operation to change a data set into a different data set. I'm going to copy that down. So before I give you an example of how to transform data, let's quickly review. Um, go to write measures of center and then measures of variation. Let's review this one more time. What are the three measures of center? Can anybody tell me uh, unless you make me cry? Hit it, Miss Wattis. The three measures of center are, go ahead. Nice. I'm going to write that down. Now, the measures of variation, I used to call them measures of spread. Spread and variation mean the same thing. Um, someone besides what is, what are the two measures of variation that I've taught you? Hit it, Ortiz. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to abbreviate standard deviation, STD, DEV, standard deviation, OK? So this is where we're at. So let's take some data here. Earphones off, you know, right? Here we go. Uh, let's let's take some data about you guys. I want to. I'm, I'm interested in you guys. Uh, let me. Uh, how far away do you live from school? Give me an approximate to the approximate whole number. What well, doesn't matter because it's how far, right? You're thinking of time to get here. Just give me the miles from school. That you live that you live from. So I'm going to take some data and you're going to write it down with me. So here we go. Um, Rodriguez, give me in miles. Okay. Wattis. Ortiz. Um, Horton. Cool. Uh, Pinedo. Castro. That's about mine. Um, Medina. And Rodriguez. Okay. So we've got two, four, six. We've got eight values. Cool. What we're going to do with this data about you guys is, um, you know, I'll just add myself. I feel left out. So we've got uh, nine values. We're going to find the measures of center and the measures of variation fast. I'm going to go fast now because we're used to this because I want to get to something new that I'm going to get into. So stay with me now. I'm going to do it fast. You, you follow along with me. So measures of center first, I'll do them in blue. Uh, so x bar first is the mean. Let's see, 4 plus 7 plus 12 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 equals, divided by 9, I got a mean of 5. I'm running to the nearest whole number. It's 4.77, so I'm running to the nearest whole number 5. Median, uh, what do we got to do first? Thank you. So let's see, I got 1, uh, 2, 2. We 
we got uh, four, five, seven, eight, and eight, huh? Four, five, seven, oh, six, huh? Six, seven, and eight. Two, four, six, eight. I'm missing one, huh? Two eights. Good looking out. All right. Median then, help. Exact middle number, huh? Yep, it's going to be five. And then let's do mode. Help. Two and eight is bimodal data, we call it. Bimodal is two modes. Two and eight. Bimodal. So far, so good. Measures, uh, now I'm going to put in green. Uh, measure the variation. Range. I'm going fast now because you guys know this already. What will be the range? How'd you get seven? A minus one. Highest minus lowest. Cool. Stop me if I'm... This is all review so far. Standard deviation. Here we go. STD. Doesn't sound right, huh? STDs. Uh, let's do the standard deviation. Here we go. I'm going to go fast. Four columns. Obs data values. Mean, deviation, deviation squared. You guys with me? Here we go. One, two, two, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. The mean was five. Woo! Uh. <laughs> Some good coffee, Mungus is drinking. Deviation time. How far is every, how far is your mileage from school from what's normal? Look at this would be the normal mileage from school in our class. Five, about five miles. So how far do you deviate from what's normal, your mileage? So one deviates about four away. Negative three. Negative three. Negative one. Zero. Uh, one. Two. Three and three. So far so good? Those are your deviations. Your, this is your data. This is about you guys. You can see where you're, how much you deviate from what's normal. Some of you are below normal, some of you are above normal. And some of you are exactly normal. Here we go. 16, 9, 9, 1, 0, 1, 4, 9, 9, yeah? What do we do now? It's a more efficient way of saying what you just said. Find the what? So there's, there's a quicker way of saying you because you said that was a big sentence. Add them all up and divide by how many they are. What would be the more pr the more sophisticated way? Find the variance. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Find the mean of the set of the square deviation, which is which is the variance. I like that. I like both. Good. Let's find the mean of this the square deviation, which is the variance. Here we go. 16 plus 18, that's 9 and 9, plus 2, plus 13, plus 9. I got 58. Okay. Divide that puppy by 9. The variance is six. So the standard deviation of sigma is the square root of six, huh? Two point four. So I'm gonna do two. So far so good. All right, now. <clears throat> if 
what I'm going to do. So what have we done? Your data of how far away you live from Park West, we found the measures of center, the measures of variation, all of them. Now what I'm going to do is, what would the effect be, what would the effect be on the measures of center and the measures of variation if I added two miles to everybody's commute? Every single one of you, I'm going to add two miles. The average will go up. So the mean, what do you, what do you think of the median? Would the median go up? Let's take some guesses. I'll give an extra stamp. What would happen to the measure of center? Important. If you guess it right, I'll give you an extra stamp. It'll go up. All of them or just one of them? How about the median and mode? How about the median? Okay. How about the measure of variation? Okay. What do you think? Does anybody want us to take a guess? If you guess it right, we're going to find out right now. I'm going to add two miles to everybody's commute. I'm going to move Park West two miles farther from your house. And we're going to see what... What, a, what effect, look at the, the word, what effect it has on the measures of center and the measures of variation. All right, so let's see if Horton's right. He's the only one that had the guts to, to guess. Let's do it. Um, you get the data. Actually, I have it right here. So the new data then, if I add, if I take Park West High School and I move it to two miles away from everybody in here, hit it. Take care of them for me. Watch this now. On your notes now, underneath all that garbage we just wrote, go to write transform data. Transformed data. We're going to transform it. So the new data is going to look like, ready? Every single one of your commutes is right here, including mine. I'm going to add two miles to everybody's. Here's the new data now. Ready? I got uh, two, four, four, six. Okay. I got seven, eight, nine, and ten, and ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten. I added two miles to everybody in here, including myself. I transformed the data. I'll stop there. Go and write that down. If you write transform the data, we transformed it. <clears throat> they make a mistake? Go ahead. Shoot. Good looking out. Two plus one is three. If you're looking at Rodriguez, I would have jacked a lot of stuff up. With coffee kicked in to a certain degree, not totally. <laughs> so let's see, uh, four, four, six, nine, okay, cool. Looks okay. Now, let's see if Horton gets the extra stamp. He says the measures of center are going to increase, and so are the measures of variation. Let's see if he gets the extra stamp. Let's do it. So I'm going to do the quick measure of center now in blue. Again, because Dodgers won, I think. X bar. I'm going to go fast now, because we've got that Google question to do. Uh, 3 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 20. 61 divided by 9. I got... Seven. The nearest whole number is seven. Look at the the mean. The previous mean was what? Five. And it went up how much? Two. Just like the data. I added two to the data. The mean went up two. Okay. So far, Horton's got the stamp. Uh, next one's median, huh? Median was five. Now the median is seven. So far, Horton's got the stamp. 
Uh, mode is bimodal still, huh? Four and ten. It used to be, was it two and eight? So even the modes were up two. This is four and this becomes ten. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So far, so good. Let's do the ver uh, measures of variation now. This is the moment of truth for Horton. I'm going to put in red. How about the range? What would the range be? Seven. Did it go up or down? Range stayed the same. Interesting. That kind of makes sense now because I took the data. The spread of the data will be the same because I, I moved the data all of it up to, so the spread is still the same. That makes sense. How about standard deviation? STD deviation. I'm going to go fast. <clears throat> Three, four, four, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. The mean was seven. Deviations. Okay, deviations. Here we go. Uh, three minus seven. That's going to be a what? Negative four. Uh, that looks like this one here. Four minus seven, negative three. It's starting to look the same as the previous data before the shift, before the transformation. Look at the, the deviations are the same. The whole data shifted, so the the range seem and the standard deviation seem like they're going to be the same here. Let's see, negative one zero. So you see negative one. Yep, and negative one zero. Uh, one. Two, three, and three. This is exactly the same now. That means all these values will be the same, right? That means the variance will be the same. If I add all this stuff up, the variance is going to have to be the same logically. Same numbers. It's going to be 58 divided by 9. The variance will then be 6, just like the original data. So the standard deviation is going to be 2. Horton almost got the stamp. I'm going to give you a one just for trying anyway, though, if you have the guts. So, let's summarize. Let's summarize. If we transform the data by adding a number, measures of center changed exactly the way we affected the data, but the measures of variation did not change. So here we go. You're going to write that down right here. Go to write summary, and we're done with the notes. Nice and neat. Right, Rodriguez? If we transform data by adding the same amount to the data, the measures of center change the same way, but the measures of variation stay the same. That's the summary of our notes right there. Right, Castro? <laughs> I know what's on the screen, man. I'm over here. <laughs>